In a land where water and sky mirror each other in an endless dance of light and reflection, we find the Netherlands, a nation ingeniously sculpted by the ingenuity of human hands and the ceaseless toil of its elemental rivers. Amidst a geography often measured below sea level, the Dutch people have created a world above and beyond the conventions of nature. Here, progressive ideals, art, and commerce swirl together in a uniquely Dutch blend, infusing old world charm with a spirit of endless possibility. This is your invitation to the Netherlands, a symphony in which each movement reveals a different shade of an unparalleled palette. In the northern reaches of the country, nestled amidst picturesque canals and framed by idyllic farmhouses, Vinsum emerges as a microcosm of Dutch pastoral elegance. This small town serves as a testament to the harmony that can exist between nature and the built environment, a canvas where brick and foliage coalesce in serene unity. Among the town's waterways, quaint bridges and narrow pathways offer sanctuary to both the casual wanderer and the dedicated pilgrim. Here, the tempo of life follows the gentle flow of the water and the slow turn of windmill sails, inviting visitors to step into a world where the urgency of modern existence is softened by the enduring calm of age-old traditions. Vinsum encapsulates the essence of a land where the profound and the everyday meet, where each waterway and windmill, each cobblestone and corner, contributes to a living tapestry of Dutch artistry. It serves as a gentle introduction to a nation that has, against all odds, sculpted an oasis of peace in a world of unrelenting change. A journey southwards brings us to Leiden, a city that thrives on the confluence of academia, art, and history, unfolding like the pages of a scholarly tome that is constantly being rewritten. Renowned as the birthplace of Rembrandt and home to one of Europe's most prestigious universities, Leiden is a testament to the intellectual and artistic vigor that courses through the Dutch veins. As you meander through its labyrinthine streets, you're greeted by a fusion of architectural styles, from the solemn dignity of Gothic cathedrals to the utilitarian grace of modern design. Each building, whether a museum or an ordinary residence, seems to articulate its own dialogue with history, offering a complex narrative of progress and preservation. In Leiden, we encounter the brilliant complexity of Dutch society, a community that values both the pursuit of knowledge and the simple joys of existence, and which arranges these seemingly disparate elements into a coherent and compelling narrative. This is where the dynamic interplay of thought and sensation, reason and emotion, come together in a unique Dutch alchemy. In the embrace of sprawling gardens and meandering waterways, a structure rises, the Har Castle. A majestic fortress, resplendent in its Gothic grandiosity, it is more than just stone and mortar, it's a time capsule that transports you to the Netherlands of yore. Emanating an aura of medieval romance, the Har Castle is steeped in both historical richness and an unmistakable sense of otherworldliness. Inside the Har Castle, one finds an eloquent testament to the grandeur of days gone by, a microcosm of opulence and artistry. Stepping through its venerable doors is akin to entering a sanctuary of European art and history. But it is not just the architecture that enchants, it's also the communion between the castle and its natural surroundings. The carefully manicured gardens seem almost like an extension of the castle, laid out in a series of tableaus that celebrate both aesthetic perfection and natural beauty. Here at De Har Castle, we uncover yet another facet of the Dutch identity, a harmonious blend of respect for heritage and an embracing of the new. In a marriage of modern ingenuity and time-honored maritime heritage, Rotterdam emerges on the European skyline like a luminary. Known as the Gateway to Europe, this city reveals itself not just as a bustling port, but also as a kaleidoscope of architectural wonder and cultural verve. The moment one sets foot in Rotterdam, the audacity of its skyline takes center stage. A sweeping panorama featuring the iconic Erasmus Bridge, a symbol of modern Rotterdam, greets the eye, its graceful lines reaching across the Moss River, seamlessly connecting the past and the future. Like a metallic ribbon in the sky, the bridge serves as an emblem of the city's relentless innovation. Yet, Rotterdam isn't merely a spectacle to behold, it's an experience that beckons participation. Whether it's cruising along the Moss, soaking up the avant-garde art scenes, 
or savoring international cuisines, the city offers an array of activities as diverse as its populace. In Rotterdam, every street is a corridor to a new world, and every corner hums with the promise of discovery. Amidst the hustle and bustle of urban landscapes and the intricate tapestry of canals and waterways, there lies an oasis, a sanctuary of natural beauty, welcome to Kuchenhof. Unlike any other garden, Kuchenhof is a seasonal spectacle, a fleeting phenomenon that graces the Netherlands for just a few months each year. The moment you step into the 79-acre park, it's as if Mother Nature herself has rolled out a lavish carpet of colors, textures, and fragrances. The air is thick with the scent of tulips, daffodils, and hyacinths, composing a perfume that one might consider the very essence of spring. Kuchenhof is not just a garden, it is a tapestry woven with thousands of flowers, each petal a pixel in a grand design. It is a symphony composed with myriad colors, each note striking a chord in the hearts of those who visit. In the ever-changing tableau of the Netherlands, Kuchenhof stands as an ephemeral chapter, a fleeting moment when nature unabashedly flaunts its beauty, inviting us to pause, if only for a little while, and revel in the splendor of life itself. A unique structure arrests our attention, Mütterlot Castle. Situated on the mouth of the River Vecht, this fortress serves as a relic, a glimpse into the intriguing history that has shaped this nation, built originally in 1280 by Count Floris V, this stone fortress has witnessed more than seven centuries unfold, each era leaving its unique imprint on the castle's walls and interiors. Though the external visage of Mütterlot Castle is formidable, with its thick walls and strategic towers, the interior is a different tale altogether. Stepping inside is like stepping into a world of opulence and sophistication. You are immediately captivated by an eclectic blend of historical artifacts, fine art, and intricate tapestries. Each room is curated in such a way as to breathe life into the annals of Dutch history. Like the many stories it holds within its walls, Mutterlot Castle is both a prologue and an epilogue, a conversation starter and a final word. It stands as a keeper of secrets, a teller of tales, and a custodian of the complex, richly woven narrative that is the Netherlands. Nestled along the coast of the Isselmeer, Volendam presents a captivating juxtaposition of the quaint and the cosmopolitan. A fishing village that has transcended its modest beginnings, Volendam's history is written on weather-beaten faces and in the age-old customs that continue to thrive in this vibrant community. A stroll through the narrow lanes reveals not just homes but heritages, preserved with pride and presented without pretense. The traditional wooden houses seem to lean into whisper secrets of ages past, while the harborside vibrates with the rhythm of contemporary life, as fishing boats dance alongside yachts in a choreographed sequence that defies time. You can feel the community's pulse at the bustling fish market where the catch of the day is a ticket to an ancestral way of life, yet just a stone's throw away, stylish boutiques and artisanal workshops point to Volendam's embrace of the new. Through an intricate interplay between the sea and its people, Volendam remains forever anchored to its history while sailing smoothly into the future. Amsterdam, where the labyrinth of canals reflects a mosaic of cultural vibrancy, and where history unfolds in layers, like the rings of an ancient tree. From its golden age gabled houses to its avant-garde art scenes, the Dutch capital pulsates with a kind of energy that defies easy classification. As one ventures into the iconic De Wallen district, the air is tinged with a blend of spices, suggesting stories from far-off lands, brought here through centuries of trade and exploration. Yet, juxtaposed against this old-world charm are the crisp lines of modern architectural marvels, illustrating Amsterdam's capacity for reinvention. Wander the alleyways of the Jordan, where hidden courtyards offer sanctuary from the pulsating energy of the city. Yet even here, amidst the calm, the buzz of creativity can be heard, from small galleries showcasing local artists to cafes where the next generation plots the future over cups of artisanal coffee. But beyond the canvas and cobblestone, in the very DNA of the city, is an enduring commitment to the principles of freedom and tolerance. A nexus where ideologies, cultures, and histories not only coexist but thrive in dialogue. 
In Amsterdam, the streams of human thought converge into a river of collective consciousness, reminding us that in this ever-changing world, the city stands as a monument to the eternal dance between the old and the new. Kinderdijk, where the silhouette of windmill stretches to meet the horizon, stands as a vivid tableau of the Netherlands' enduring struggle and harmony with water. As an emblematic landscape that has etched itself into the collective memory, Kinderdijk transcends mere scenery, it's a symphony of engineering, sustainability, and cultural heritage. The windmills, erected in the 18th century, are not mere monuments but operational structures that continue to manage water levels. A technological marvel of its time, the windmill network is a testament to human ingenuity and a precursor to modern sustainable practices. Walking the footpaths of Kinderdijk offers more than a tranquil escape, it's akin to stepping into an evolving narrative. It's a place where the wind whispers tales of resilience, where the water reflects stories of a community bound by mutual dependency and respect. Kinderdijk serves as a vivid reminder that when humans work in consonance with nature, the resulting symphony can not only sustain communities but also enrich the very tapestry of cultural heritage. In the north, where canals crisscross meadows and vast skies dominate the horizon, Friesland unfolds its unique tapestry, a landscape where culture, language, and tradition set it apart even within the varied quilt that is the Netherlands. It is as if Friesland has its own gravitational pull, drawing visitors into an orbit of distinct customs and landscapes. Known for its Frisian horses, an ancient breed that embodies both grace and strength, Friesland seems to exude a certain gallantry and poise. These magnificent creatures, with their noble bearing, are not just a point of pride but a living connection to a past that stretches back to medieval Europe. The region's lakes and waterways serve as aquatic trails for sailing, making Friesland a mecca for water sports enthusiasts. Whether it's Skutschelen, traditional Frisian sailing, or contemporary yachting, the ripples of Friesland's maritime culture stretch out in ever-expanding circles, capturing imaginations far and wide. In this dance of tradition and modernity, Friesland shows that maintaining a unique cultural identity isn't a retreat into the past, but a stride into the future with its roots deeply anchored in its heritage. In a nation celebrated for its canals, tulips, and windmills, the town of Delft holds a unique position, synonymous with an art form that once captivated the world and continues to enchant visitors today. Known as the birthplace of Delftware, or Delft Blue Pottery, this charming town is an alchemy of art and science, its streets a tableau vivant of the Dutch Golden Age. Delft is also home to Johannes Vermeer, the painter whose masterful manipulation of light transformed everyday scenes into transcendent experiences. The artist's imprint is as indelible as the cobblestone streets, as vivid as the reflections in the canals that crisscross the town. An ineffable harmony pervades Delft, an equilibrium between its historic legacy and its modern aspirations. Through its narrow alleys, across its quaint bridges, and within its antique buildings, Delft offers an experience that transcends mere sightseeing. It is a journey through the layers of time, each stratum revealing a different facet of human creativity and intellectual prowess. The Hague emerges as the epicenter of governance and international diplomacy. Not a mere city, but a symbol of law, order, and human rights on the global stage. It is in The Hague that nations convene to broker peace, justice, and international cooperation, under the venerable dome of the International Court of Justice. Beyond the labyrinthine corridors of governance and the hallowed halls of art, The Hague surprises with its sandy expanses, sunny beaches that stretch as far as the eye can see. Skeveningen and Kijkduin, the city's two main beaches, offer an almost paradoxical setting when juxtaposed against the backdrop of The Hague's highbrow culture and international jurisprudence. In The Hague, the ocean is not just a geographical feature but a spiritual expanse, a sanctuary that symbolizes the city's commitment to the well-being of not just the mind, but also the soul. This land stands as a profound testament to humanity's quest for justice, beauty, and the harmonious coexistence of the two.
Nestled amidst the sprawling waterways and idyllic landscapes that define the Netherlands, Marken stands as an island, but not just of land, of time itself. It is a bastion of centuries-old customs and architecture, a testament to Dutch ingenuity in harmonizing with the water that both sustains and threatens. Marken seems to have emerged from a painting, its wooden houses adorned in vibrant hues of green, red, and blue. The island's unique elevated, werven, or mounds, punctuate the landscape, a clever construction to safeguard its inhabitants from the oft-encroaching sea. Fishing nets are as much a part of the landscape as the iconic lighthouse, known locally as Het Part van Marken, that has been guiding sailors since 1839. Marken is more than a destination, it is a story, a vivid paragraph in the Dutch anthology. Each cobbled street, every worn fishing net, and all the age-old ceremonies are carefully preserved words in this living manuscript. It is a dialogue between the past and the present, a hymn sung in the key of tradition but accompanied by the chords of modern life. In the Netherlands, a land crisscrossed by canals and characterized by a harmonic balance between human design and natural beauty, we find a spectrum of experiences that extend beyond mere visual captivation. This is a place where time-honored traditions share the stage with cutting-edge innovation. As we journey through this rich tapestry, what becomes evident is that the Netherlands is not just a destination but a state of mind. A manifestation of the harmonious coexistence of old and new, natural and man-made, practical and imaginative. It is a living, breathing symphony, a timeless overture that invites us to listen closely, for in its notes, we may just find a reflection of the universal human story.